Alrighty, I am here with American Railroads, Summit River, and Pine Valley. And I'm going to start a new game because I screwed up my last one. Pretty simple game. Uh, you're basically a, a logging railroad and you are trying to make some money selling logs. It's a pretty simple concept. You can buy uh, more cars, more log loaders. Uh, you can buy more up upgraded engines. Uh, right now they only have a Shea, which is your... Well, they have up to a Shea. Uh, they only have like four different locos you can buy right now, uh, including the hand car. So... Um, which I'm actually going to remember to buy this time, because last time I didn't buy it, and kind of screwed myself. So... Uh, yeah. So it starts you off at this logging camp. Uh, it starts you off with a locomotive as well. So you don't have to worry about not having them. Um, my last build I had this whole area built up and it was kind of nice, but I ran into an issue with where I didn't save properly and lost all my progress. Well, I didn't lose all my progress, but it was just, figured at this point it was good to just turn around and start over from scratch. So basically you are you're able to build tracks but you're only able as far as i can see you can only build them in one direction uh so let's go buy ourselves a pickaxe 99 bucks and i already lost it but oh, there it is so as far as i can see you can only build them in one direction so if you go from this side of the track it'll build that way only kind of annoying hope that's that's something that they work on in the future um but for now, not too shabby. Uh, so we want to switch here. The hitboxes in this game are a little f messed up too. Um, gotta find just the right hitbox. There we go. Just like I did there. Uh, and then... like to say there we go and we're just gonna build all the way through here uh, give ourselves a little more space uh, there is uh, no cost really to laying track as far as I've seen well, I guess there is. There's the investment cost of... I'm assuming that's your rail, maybe? Um, I probably should have paid attention to that. Let's actually test that out. Uh, what are we at right now? 164. Okay, so it does actually cost you to put down rails. So, I guess that makes sense. Um, this is what it is. Alright. So we're gonna break apart this log. And, uh, yeah. Get this engine fired up. Now, I found out in my last game that, uh, water matters a lot. Uh, even if you have a full bar of steam, if you have no water in your engine, it won't move at all. Uh, I hope that's something they kind of fix in the future, though, because, um, uh, makes no sense to have steam but not be able to move, um, even if you don't have water, because water has already been converted to steam, as far as that makes sense. Uh, you will see some very funny hitboxes in this. Um, you'll see me struggle to get into the locomotive sometimes. Um, all part of the show, I guess. Usually it takes about three logs to really get a good steam going. Um, I'm going to throw in a bunch more. You know, I probably should have started loading up this locomotive with, uh, logs. Um, because once you're actually on the road, this is the only place that you can get logs. Um, so once you're traveling, it's, uh, it's gonna be no bueno. <laughs> if you run out of logs, because then you're gonna have to buy the handcart. This is gonna be pain. So, um, 
There is a place to fill up on water near the roundhouse, which is where we're going to be going in a minute. Because uh, we got to go buy a log car and pick that up so we can start delivering some logs. So if you want to just give me a minute here to load us up with logs. I'm going to do this as quick as possible. There we go. That should be good enough. That should be good for the first run of this. Um, close that up. We should have some steam in us. Um, yeah, looks like we're good to go. And it's very important to have the uh, points pointed in the right, the right direction. Because if you come up from behind the point like I am right now and it's switched to the wrong way, um, yeah, it will go off the rails and you will have not a good time. So. Sell some sand on the rails. The hitboxes for some of this stuff is a little off. a lot of good lessons in my first couple rounds to this though. Um, so be careful with I mean, just be careful with this. You can derail very easily. And also you can't make it up this hill with more than three cars with the first two of the boats. Um, I'm pretty sure that's where the Shea comes in handy. Uh, that's kind of like the top two of the boat right now. Also learn that you don't go very fast in this game, um, running wise, so if you're gonna jump out of your locomotive, you better be damn well sure that you can get back in uh, in time, because I've already had several derails because of that. Um, this is our roundhouse area over here, uh, which we should probably buy um, some stuff to in a minute. You can't edit any of these tracks here. Um, you can build on top of them technically, but it will just cause problems with locomotives. As far as I've seen, there's no huge penalty to braking hard yet in this game. Uh, I can imagine there probably will be down the road, but, uh, you know, we'll have to see. And that should clear us of the points, just barely. But that works. Um, let's set the points here as well. You can go there. You want to go straight, and you want to go straight, so we got to turn you as well. <clears throat> so yeah, uh, coming up from behind the points, uh, usually a good idea to change your points ahead of time, because uh, once this locomotive gets rolling, it's it can be fast, depending on how fast you actually want it to go. Um, I mean, ideally, you don't want to be going too too crazy. But anyways, uh, let's get us a little more steam as well. Reverser. Take off the brake. Oh, this is hitboxes. Patience will be the death of you in this game, I've noticed. I have one too many times decided to just speed down the track and uh, did 
not going to. So. Taking it slow to easy is sometimes the better bet. Oh, it's always the better bet in this game. Oh, yeah. Then, uh, let's put the brake on. Perfect. This turntable is the bane of my existence. Um, mainly because you have to literally sit here like this for it to move it uh, easier and quicker. Because otherwise you're just... It's, it's been in the ass. This turntable is the bane of my existence. Uh, also doesn't help that my mouse is technically broken. Uh, it's been broken for a couple of years now, actually. Um, every time I single click with the left mouse button, it uh, tends to like to double or triple click. So if you see me pick something up or switch something too quickly, that's usually why. Um, like getting these points lined up, that should be fine. A uh, bit of annoyance. <clears throat> There's a lot of bugs and stuff in this game still. Not like a crazy amount of bugs, but um, nothing that's too game-breaking either, thankfully. But definitely stuff that can be improved upon in the future that I'm sure they'll work on. Um, you know, it's all in, you know, this is still an early, I don't know if it's an early access because I got kind of, I don't know, someone told me that it wasn't an early access, but this is technically early access, so I'll put it down as that. Um, so yeah, we're buying our first log car. Uh, every time you buy a log car, it'll come over here in the purchase track. So I'm going to label this as the first log car because May as well start at the beginning. Technically, it's the fifth, because my, my first playthrough, I had up to four log cars, but because of, you know, my game not liking me, I ran out of ran out of uh, steam right next to the water tower. So we're going to buy this log car. Um, you can transport a decent amount of logs in it, actually. Uh, but it does cost you about a thousand each. So um, you can also buy the log loader later on, which is pretty nice. That's it. Um, this thing is for getting the heavier logs. Um, have not experienced using that. I was saving up for it in the last run. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, yeah. And then you have... Hey, go to your locomotives as well. You can actually number them, name your own company and all that. Um, which we'll do later. Um, this is the 042. It has a nice little space for all your logs. Uh, I guarantee you mine will not look that neat either, so sorry ahead of time. And then this big boy, the Climax, which is so nice. Um, ooh, that's kind of cool. I can't wait to get to that. Uh, I was so close to getting this one, I was not that long away. Um, platform, looks so nice. Uh, but we'll get to that soon. Hopefully. We don't screw this up again. <laughs> um, and then under buildings, all you have right now under buildings is the water tower. Uh, I'm sure they're going to plan on adding more stuff later to expand your business. Um, probably improvements and stuff. Um, but yeah. So that's about it for now. Oh, wait. forgot to buy the car. Uh, anyway, so when you buy something, it'll appear on this track. This is kind of like the purchase uh, arrival track, I guess you could say. It's also where you refill your water tower, uh, your water for your engine. Um, I like leaving the uh, stuff on a lot of the time, but I'll try to turn it off a little more now. Now that I'm used to the game. Uh, so let's go buy our first log car. And there it is. Uh, big problem too that I've come across is I forget to toggle the brake um, on this guy. So I have sent these log cars careening down the path and derailing. I'd also like to say a special, um, a, I'd also like to call the developers out because how dare you show me a beautiful 440 General or Eureka or whatever they were, whatever they're calling it. I think it's actually a Eureka because it's a, this is all technically narrow gauge, I believe, instead of standard. Um, 
but you give me this nice, beautiful locomotive to look at. Um, and unfortunately, you cannot get to it because you cannot go any further in this direction. Um, but that is just a beautiful locomotive and uh, it's definitely something to look forward to uh, what they're planning. So, um, yeah. So yeah, basically right now it's just, uh, you're just a logging company. There's no other businesses, there's no passengers, no stations, no coal mines or any of that. It's literally just a, a logging camp that you are just delivering logs back and forth to. Uh, I hope later on that they add some more, eh, maybe like one or two industries, like maybe iron and coal or something. Um, <clears throat> I doubt passenger service will ever be a thing in this because it's not really needed. It would be cool in the future, but it's not really necessary, so I can live without it. But for now, you know, just the logging is fine. Um, they say they have plans for multiplayer, which my troll friends will probably love to come in here and smash a train right into the consist that takes me hours to build. Uh, so can't, you know, can't wait for that. Uh, I know a lot of people in the forums are talking about Porter Drag Races, which is taking this engine here and just drag racing it down a long stretch of track, which could be funny to watch, actually. Um, problem is, is that there's only one section of the map with a pre-built straightaway, so you'd have to build your own racetrack at some point, um, which I'm sure no one's going to have a problem with. Um, they're building in this very free form. Um, but it's also a little bit of a pain in the ass. And I don't think it's ready for that level of, uh, I don't think it's ready for that level yet. Um, there is no re-railer either. So, um, as I've been told, and I should probably remember to do this, save often, I've been told to do. Um, so I'm gonna use those. Um, my other two save games that I had right there, um, those are two save, those are my, uh, main save and backup save for my last map where I derailed uh, one of the porters, and then I unfortunately lost the other one to a, uh, well I lost the other one because it literally only got right in front of that uh, water tower and then died out. So I unfortunately lost that, and now I'm stuck with starting over again. So. Save often, I've been told. And so I should. Coupling this game, you're gonna see is kind of fun. I probably shouldn't have smashed into it like that. But, you know, it Alrighty. I think that should couple us up. It does not. Well, first you don't succeed, try again. There we go. So the coupling system, you just gotta make sure that they're very close to each other, and you get these pins uh, up. And then now it should be coupled up and you're good to go. There we go. I forgot that we're not going in reverse. Um, so yeah. And they're, they're nice enough, I forgot they were nice enough to give us a couple logs here as well. Um, so there's that at least. Uh, so actually, let's just break one of these down. Um, I'd say the biggest pain in the ass of this game is that you have to, uh, you have to, uh, put all these logs in separately. Um, so, I guess at some point you just gotta dedicate a lot of time to putting the logs in, and going from there. Um, but... <clears throat> Later on, with all the locomotives, you have ways of speeding up the process. Um, I'm pretty sure you can even use the log loader uh, later on as well, but I don't know. I 
don't really see a lot of people doing videos for this game yet, so I figure why not, it's a good time to jump in on it. Oh. My apologies, my nose is dying today. Uh, I've played a lot of railroad simulators as well. Uh, played a lot of the trains games. Uh, oops. Played a lot of um, Derail Valley recently too, um, which they're coming out with their overhaul update soon. Not that this is an advertisement for that, but um, I really like that game. If you haven't had a chance to check it out, highly recommend checking it out. Uh, it's kind of similar to this too, where the derails. Um, you know, very realistic, you know, real derail, you don't have to worry about the weight of your consist. Um, you'll see, uh, about this locomotive and the next stage up the locomotive can carry about three full log cars uh, up a hill. After, after that, though, it gets a little dicey. Um, so, I mean, just err with caution, I guess, and, uh... Oh, what are we doing? Wrong way. Hey, we're we going the wrong way though. Ah, we can go this way. We'll be fine. It's better to go down the hill backwards than up the hill backwards, I guess. Technically, maybe. I don't know. Um, I generally go from the front though. Um, or I usually have the, the locomotive facing backwards and pulling the consist. Uh, down the main line instead of pushing it down the main line it just seems to work out a lot better um, that way when you're pushing the cars up the hill if, if even if a coupler does break it doesn't send the cars careening down the hill and you chasing after them uh, I've already had that problem once or twice where the pin broke and it uh, yeah sent the car flying down the hill and all my logs went everywhere and I just sat there in disbelief and you'd think I'd learn at that point to save more often but nope apparently not uh, how much money do we have we have enough to buy uh, so we're gonna buy our first shed you can repair your locomotive and store them in here um, oops. so you'll see now our repair speed is that it's twenty dollars a day uh, a bit steep for the servant for how long it takes to actually repair the locomotive but it is what it is uh, we're not going to worry about filling up with water or anything. We're pretty decent right now. Um, later on, though, that's going to be the case. So. Points too fast or taking a turn too fast will cause derails. Uh, allowing wheel slip on your engine will cause derails and all that too. So um, it's kind of best to you know, know your limits and know where you can uh, where you where you can go fast where you can. Um, and also just pre-planning ahead a lot to uh, switching your points before you even have to think about it. Um, always a good idea. So, we are going to reverse down this path. All the way to the next After this run, we should be able to get another car. I could be wrong. Too, the sliding animation for the windows. Um, not that you can poke your head out, I don't think you can at least. I didn't see any uh, controls for such. Um, but it looks like they're planning that in the future to poke your head out the window. Logs 
have a nice little third person mode too, so you can see your engine in action. Because this is the starting engine, you can't name it or number it however you like. Um, I'm pretty sure my last one was three, so now I have five. Uh, it's pretty nice. Pretty cool. That means, I don't know if they base it off of how many times you start a new game or not. I don't know. Uh, yeah. A little slower down this hill. We are reaching. We're reaching a point where I derailed this actual, we derailed this train. First playthrough. Uh, I was going way too fast down this hill. I uh, got to this uh, little trestle here and something careening off into the woods. Uh, never to be seen, never to be seen again. And at that point, my last save was about uh, three hours prior. This is where paying attention helps too. Uh, my last save was about three, four hours prior to. Um, where I was, and I had done so much in that time, so I decided, you know what, it might be time to uh, buy a new locomotive anyways, and I used the money I was saving from Log Loader to buy a new locomotive, and then, it, well, you already know it. So, um, you will uh, have a very wacky looking load. That should be good. Oh, perfect. Perfect. So right now, I can only do the um, other logs. Uh, these ones I cannot take because I don't have the log loader. Um, so we will do these. Forward. Make sure that's off. We won't bother with filling up on steam because it's going to take a minute to load this car. Um, and we'll run out of steam by the time it's loaded. So you literally have to just sit here and spam the left mouse button. Or whatever you change it to later on. I don't think you can change the controls to this game yet. And then they start falling in. You can uh, left click and right click to move the logs around. So now they should be a little easier to manage. Nope. I've seen some very interesting um, pictures of some people's <laughs> log cars when they fill them up. Like some of them have them stacked so high it's not even funny. Um, which if you're going for the maximum amount of money per run, it's not a bad idea. But um, you do have to keep in mind sometimes that constant um, weights do matter in this game. Um, and this tiny little engine can only do so much. I usually like to set it up that it's kind of almost a ramp down um, to the others, 
Because I try to fill these up pretty damn easily. My last save had a ton of logs just laying on the side of the track because I didn't know how to properly uh, load. So uh, they were just being spammed um, all over. So it was uh, not a good idea. <laughs> but you know, you live and learn, especially with a game like this. Um, any railroad sim, you really. It takes a while to fully get the mechanics down and what's going to work and what's not going to work. This is just one car <laughs> we're loading, and it's taking a decent amount of time. You know. So, it is what it is. Uh, not too horrible. But we should be able to at least uh, deliver our first load soon. Oh, we can use that for firewood later. Can use that one for firewood, can use that one for firewood. Uh, it's like a puzzle. It really is. And I hear our steam has died out. That's it? Yep, it has. But that's alright. Uh, did it on purpose. There we go. Ooh, we can fit probably one more log on here. And then that's a load. <laughs> that is a load. Um, that's just... Uh, Let's just pull these logs this way. That way, we're not clogging that up. And uh, let's break down one of these as well. Fill ourselves up with a little more wood. can slowly see our steam, well not slowly, I guess it went pretty quick, um, see our steam increase. Uh, kind of funny trying to get these logs in. Yeah, that should be enough. Alright, let's uh, fire her up. I guess we could have probably fit some more on top, but uh, this is a log loading simulator. Well, it is. But, uh, I wanted to show you a, a delivery first. Uh, <clears throat> it'd be very interesting when we get the other log loader. Oh, come on, you can make it on the simulator. Ah, she's pumping. Definitely need to get some water on the way back. Look how nice this looks so. Oh. Yeah, we definitely could have fit some more logs on there, but 
Yeah, for the first run, this isn't a horrible haul. This should get us a couple hundred at least. I hope. This is about twenty dollars per log. Uh, so we should have at least a few hundred actually. Yeah, it's pretty points. so much nicer when we have multiple cars, um, but for now, this isn't bad. I do have to remember to stop at the end, because I believe there's a switch we need to hit. And, oh, taking the sage advice of the other people, let's save often. fast. Maybe I should have slowed it down a little. Oof. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. You got this. You got this. You got this. You got this. There we go. Oof. That would have been close. Really nice though with the uh, locomotives. It's working pretty nicely together. Um, I think they have a little more power though than these guys get credit for. Maybe not. Uh, no, maybe not this one. But uh, maybe having the ability to control two locomotives at the same time would be nice. Uh, maybe that's where multiplayer will come in handy. Uh, but we'll see. Probably how they did it back in the old day, you know? Uh, set the train to coast and then just jump out and go run and switch the points, right? That's about how it worked. I actually do wonder, before they had signaling boxes and all the wonderful technology we have today, that is probably, honestly, what they had to do in some areas. Uh, just make sure that the points were switched ahead of time 
Uh, I want to jump out as you're probably coasting, I'd say. Because uh, if you're if you have a heavy hull and you're going up a nice incline, uh, you're not going to have a fun time getting that speed back up if you break. Uh, but I could be wrong. I don't know. Um, so yeah, here we are. We're at the sawmill. Um, it's pretty static for now. Uh, you can't enter any of these buildings yet, sadly. Yeah, I don't know. I could be wrong. Hold on. I've been known to be wrong before. There is a staircase here, so... Ideally, you should be able to... No. <laughs> no. It, it said no. The game's like, why are you trying to do this? Uh, doesn't even look like... Well, there is an interior, I guess, but it's empty. Uh, maybe that's something they'll work on in the future. A little more interior uh, cells <clears throat> but that is you know, this for the, for the state of this game right now it's not too bad um, this is where you drop off all your logs uh, it's not a bad little area so you want to get them onto this track here <clears throat> you want to get them onto this track here and uh, you'll just deposit them in this lake so they can float on up and into there Let's do it. So you get these little stakes here. You can just uh, right mouse button to toggle them off. And then hear the wonderful sound of the ch-ching. And you just put the stakes back up. You really don't have to put the stakes back up for the travel back, but I, don't know, I think it looks nice. I mean, we could certainly go no stakes at all. Uh, so I guess that's not a huge issue. Uh, just go no stakes. Let's see how that flies. But you will have to put them back up when you get to the log loader again, so. Eh, not too bad. And then how much money do we get for that? Nice. Made a nice little profit. Uh, 700, almost 700. A little shy of it, but uh, not bad. So, now we have enough to buy. Oops. I'll just do that. We have enough to buy. Log car. Two. fairly f uh, flat stretch of land. I think you can technically build on this as well. Um, I'm sure you can. It takes a while for the maintenance on these locomotives to break down. Uh, they won't break down that much. Uh, but the water, the water will go quick. Especially later on when we're hauling more and more cars. Uh, it'll take more steam to power the engine and get them up the hill. 
forgot we got to go back to the roundhouse anyways so let's go pick up that other car put the points straight and we'll put these points to go left <clears throat> so now that we're having the points uh, changed we should be able to send it off onto the right track and send it right down to the roundhouse. Uh, they did a very nice job designing this yard, actually. It's uh, quite a nice little yard. And it uh, sets you up perfectly for what you need to do here. And that should be good. <clears throat> it does take a long time to get down. Uh, to run around, so a lot of the times what I do is I leave the engine running. Um, oh, save often. Otherwise, you'll hate yourself later. <clears throat> um, some people have mentioned buying the hand car to send you down these tracks a little faster, but that hand car is interesting, to say the least. <laughs> um... Yeah, the mechanics of this game, pretty fairly straightforward, pretty easy, nothing nothing out of the ordinary, really, it's a pretty simple concept. Um, I feel like D-Rail Valley has a little more uh, depth to it when it comes to um, loads and, like, you can have different contracts and all that. There's really no contracts, you're literally just... You're literally just some, well, a one-man operation uh, with this logging river. But uh, I do like the fact that you can unload the logs and load them yourself instead of having an automatic loader. So there's, there's pros and cons to both. I guess I could have gotten a little further, but eh, for this time, for this concept, it works. Uh, which way is this facing, by the way? Uh, so that brake is facing that way. So we just need to make sure to put it on the table, so that this brake is also facing the same way. I don't have to, but I kind of like to. Um, yeah, that'll work. Uh, yeah, we can go this way. The most legitimate tactic ever. <laughs> um, yeah. As I said, I do look forward to the multiplayer of this game. I feel like it's uh could be a very interesting aspect. I know they said they've been working on it. And I hope that they continue to work on it. Um, as 
a lot of my friends know when they first released this game, it was, uh, uh, when I first bought this game and I tried it out, it was quite hilarious trying to watch me figure out how everything works. Um, they were, then they finally released an update that made it a little better, and now it's actually playable. If you did pass by this game before, I highly recommend giving it another shot. Uh, especially if you like tedious uh, time wasters. This will be the game for you. That's going to be problematic. Let's back this locomotive up a little bit. He's off on the brake a little. There we go. That should be a little better. Oh yeah, it's perfect. Let's put you onto this track. Yeah, that should be close enough. Possibly. Uh, wait a minute. That's it. Ah, yes, right. Block that car. Those are those hitboxes I'm talking about. There we go. Alright. And let us reverse. Bring this guy into the turntable, pick up the next car, and then we shall be able to uh, deliver more logs now. And we'll make more money, and hopefully we'll be at the climax sooner than later. And the log loader, too. Um, be nice to have the log loader. Um, that way we can deliver the heavier loads. Uh, problem is, I'm sure with the heavier loads comes less cars I can actually uh, carry at the same time. This turntable reminds me of the, the ones in San Francisco when I visited there. Um, the cable cars actually had to be hand uh, turned around on these little wooden turntables are really kind of nice uh, really nice cool little day trip um, when I was down there in California but uh, sadly I live in New York so uh, not going to be easy to go back out there especially during now <laughs> uh, but you know if you're ever in San Francisco definitely check out the Cape Cross fun time <laughs> Uh, 
broke. Alrighty, and then let's get some water into this guy. Because as you can see, we are starting to run low on water. Definitely a little too far away. We should be able to bring this down. Kidding me? You're just a hair off. You're just a hair off. There we go. And now it's loading. I do like how it literally is just going right through the engine. <laughs> uh, I'm sure After Effects or uh, a little more polishing, and they'll get that down a little more. Seems that we there we go. But yeah. And while that's filling up, instead of watching it fill, because you know, watch pot never boils. Uh, let's start loading up some logs. This game is also very, very loud on a headset. Um, I don't really know how good the quality of the audio is going to be until after I take a look at it. Uh, might have to actually dub over it at some points, but we'll see. But this, uh, this the audio on this game is ridiculous. Like I have it set to the lowest possible setting, and I'm still deaf some of the time. So, yeah, apologize ahead of time. Um, yeah, that should. Oh yeah, we're full up on water. Ish. And close that up. It would be very interesting to see what they do with this game. Um, I hope that they continue developing it and making it a little more polished in some ways, especially the hitboxes. <laughs> Some of the hitboxes are a little crazy. Let's get it. Once we get it onto the turntable, we will uh, turn it around and attach it up to our other car. Whoa. Losing track of myself. I need to really be careful with that. There is a third person mode. Um, that's what I'm shifting into V. Uh, but <laughs> you don't have a character model yet, so um, I'm sure that's something they'll work on uh, in the future as well, as character models. Uh, actually, before we turn this around, because I know, I know how things are, uh, save often. And we will turn this locomotive around. Oh, come on. We can do this. And if you don't have the car... They don't have the locomotive or the car perfectly on the turntable, um, far enough away from some of the edges. Actually, I thought that was a little close, but it's all right. Um, you will end up sending. You will end up uh, ripping your car right off the rails. So you might need to, you know, tone it down a little bit and make sure, you know, take that extra second to make sure that things are the way you want. 
um, especially breaking your cars because uh, if you don't break the car before you detach from it especially on a hill or uh, when you're shunting cars you will you won't be too happy um, so we're gonna just slam this car into the into car one and we will get going down the hill to pick up some more logs Let's get out and get ready to detach. Why are you still going? Oh! Why are you still going? I left. Didn't that break you? Apparently not. Oh. Well, that would have been fun. And see, that's... I thought I had double-checked that, but I guess I didn't... Alright. That would have been interesting. That's a disaster strike. Plenty of steam to go down this hill. Alrighty. We are on our way. Did that car properly attach? It did. Well, a little faster to be jumping out there, but. And this is why we save often. <laughs> See, I, I approached the switch, but I forgot to change the points properly. And this is what happens. This is why... This is why we save often. Uh, 228. That was... Why are you... Scraping. Oh, while we're over here, may as well remember to do this. That way we don't careen the car down the track. There we go. So you'll usually hear that sound if you are um, too close to the edge of the turntable. It'll cause like a scraping sound. Um, and it won't turn as well, or it'll rip your train right off the track. So let's try not doing that today. Alrighty. See, I knew there was something I forgot to do. I forgot that we came in from the other side. Because we came in from this track. Uh, instead of the other track this time. Oh, hitboxes. And these hitboxes. And before disaster strikes again, let us run down the line and 
get this. And anybody that's had like a model railroad at any point, um, like a model train or a Lego train or anything, I have Lego, uh, I have some Lego trains myself. Um, and on those, when you go over the points, if you go over them from a position, like say it's set to this position where it's going off to the right, but you come off the straight um, and you you hit the points, it just automatically switches this thing. Well, in a model that might work, but in in real life, though, these these are heavy, heavy, heavy rails. So, um, always best to switch your points and not tempt the fate. But even on, like, model railroads, too. Even on some model railroads, it is better to switch your points because, um, especially if it's an electric motor uh, turnout and all that, you're going to have, you're not going to have as good of a time. Gonna be a little, gonna be a little cocky here. Some, some steam. You do have to be very careful too, because uh, you will have runaway engines if you uh, don't, if you don't, uh, if you set them too fast. Your character, like this, is walking speed for your character. This is running speed for your character. <laughs> walking, running. So if you aren't, uh, if you aren't in a very slow mode. That's sunset. Did I see my shadows here? It's a sunset uh, delivery. Uh, pick up the next. down this hill on our remaining steam.
too much power. Nothing we can't solve, though. So we'll do one more delivery here. We'll probably leave it there for the day. Uh, might do some off-camera work, but uh, hopefully by next time we will be closer to the shade. Once it gets dark in this map too, it gets uh, it gets decently dark, but it's not like pitch black. So, um, Loading these logs is quite fun. Once the uh, D-Rail Valley overhaul update comes out too, I'll be focusing on making videos for that as well. Um, I've always wanted to be kind of up on that, um, especially when there are some really good train simulators coming out recently too. Uh, like, um, Mashinki is a great train tycoon game if you like those. Uh, train Transport Fever is okay. Um, I think it's a little ridiculous that they already have a second one out when the first one hasn't been out for really all that long um, but you know they they do what they got to do to make money you know I can't can't fault them on that I just I don't know I feel like they could have waited a little bit longer um, and polished up the first game a little more but you know all in all I'm fairly happy with a lot of the games that have been coming out recently uh, <clears throat> simulators and Tycoon games kind of took a backseat for a while, but uh, then, you know, Goat Simulator came out and everyone's like, oh, I gotta have something like that. Uh, I find it interesting they have, like, a Thief Simulator now, too. Uh, can't imagine. Can't imagine the inspiration for that. Uh, how are we looking on this side? Probably for a few more logs. I also notice you can actually hit him in midair. So I guess that will help with the loading. Ah, oh. dang. <laughs> that will kind of help with the loading, is if you hit him in midair and you hit him in just the right way, you can get him a little further down. Wow, it's getting a little dark. <laughs> too bad now. Should be able to fit a couple more logs on here. And then we can move on to the next car. 
I imagine this will be a lot more, uh, a lot quicker with friends. Um, so again, that's why I look forward to the multiplayer aspect of it. Look at that, nice load. That's the way to do it. how nice and dark it gets. It's always a it's always a challenge to get the right Just, Yep, there we go. Perfect. Yeah, it's not perfect, but it's better than it was. this car up and we will be on our way to deliver our next haul I feel like the way with the way I load these I can get about almost 700 each time maybe even 800 um, I feel like 700 is a good amount Yeah, with this uh, with this game, it does feel like the world is a little empty, uh, is a little dead. Uh, like you're the only person, uh, you're the only person here in this logging railroad, keeping things running. Um, so, I feel like that's where again, <clears throat> multiplayer will definitely come in handy. Um, I'm not sure about AI. I don't really think there's a need for AI. Um, Maybe someone to buy some, maybe someone to actually buy some of the stuff from, uh, maybe even someone to like give you contracts. Um, but right now the core game is literally find logs, deliver logs, find logs, deliver logs. So um, unless they add more uh, cargo types, I really don't don't know if it's even necessary to add any AI in. Um, I feel like the game is perfect in how it's designed now. Um, But the addition of friends would definitely uh, add on to uh, making the world a little livelier, a little more funny and painful. Especially, you know, I know my friends pretty damn well. Um, if you know your friends pretty well, uh, you'll probably be in the same boat as me when they're allowed to join you. Um, and you fell off, of course. roll on off because life hates me apparently oh. 
One more log should do it. I feel like we could probably get some more out, but uh, I don't really think it's necessary. Nah, it's, it's good. That's a good amount. Uh, so let's load ourselves up with a little more firewood. I also wish that there was like a toolbox to the side of this locomotive like right here where you could throw your pickaxe in. Uh, I think that would definitely be a nice help later on. But you know, beggars can't be choosers. Nice if they had like, some keyboard shortcuts as well for the engine when you're inside of it. That way you could kind of slow it down from this third person perspective. Uh, but again, there's you know, there's improvements to be made here and there. I'm sure they'll figure it out as they go along. Just look at that nice load that we got going on now. Nice amount of logs, 
should be about a couple, another good, probably $700 uh, each car, so this should net us a decent amount. Um, probably a little bit of ways to our goal. Let's start slowing this down. I'm going fast enough. Yeah, we should be all right. Come on, make it to the thing. Jump. There we go. All right. Again, uh, if you're not confident in your uh, speed, um, it might be a good idea to uh, not keep the train running. So this we will save often and be good to go. Satisfying ka -ching. And what did that net us? Ooh. That did us a nice thirteen hundred in profit. 
not too shabby. Whoops. We now we save. There we go. Thanks. Okay. Oof. Alrighty. And that is that. So actually, we're gonna bring this back to the roundhouse real quick. Um, we'll just uh, we'll save it there and we'll pick it up from there. I could buy a third car, but uh, I kind of want to buy the next locomotive up. Which will be starting to suffer as well, so it might be time to uh, fill up on water again. Actually, we'll leave that guy there for now, but let's go check out... Well, actually, let's not, because 
I don't want to waste whatever water we have. So, that's about that for now. Uh, have another video later. Uh, us uh, moving a little further on. Also, it was a good thing I stopped there, because we would have derailed yet again. Oh no, we wouldn't have. We would have been fine. That's right. I sometimes forget the layout of this thing. But no. So, that was a nice little journey, and we will figure it out later.